Hello guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, let's explore histogram shift in Substance Painter. This tool is even there in Substance Designer. So histogram shift is about moving the whole range of colors on a positive side. So I'll be showing you how this is going to look like. So there's a simple layer here. I'm going to take a solid layer. And in that, I'm going to add a fill. And in fill, I'm going to add a texture. Anything should do a black and white picture. So I'm going to add that texture here. On top of that, I'm going to add a filter. And in filter, I'm going to add this histogram shift. And then uh, let me switch off um, the properties off in all other prop uh, all other you know channels. So now we've got histogram position one. So let me put it to zero. There's nothing really happening at zero and one. But as I move the position, you see what happens to the black and see what happens to the white. Okay, so the black is starting up with the white color and the white is starting to become darker like that. And then the total picture will come back to its original state. Okay, so you, you want to use which range of your black and white picture, you can use that. And probably this can give you some nice uh, flake effects and all. So let me try to uh, look after this uh, tool so let me delete all the layers and then this is a simple uh, solid layer maybe I'll create that one for you so I'll take a solid layer and I'm going to take a color okay this should be the color and I'm going to reduce the glossiness okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a new layer on top of it and uh, maybe I'll take a rust color okay and I'm going to make it rough and then I'm going to reduce the height of this and then let me add a black mask or white mask anything should do then add a fill layer and add a texture in it okay so let's add a black and white so you're able to see that now I'm going to add a filter and in the filter I'm going to add the histogram shift then let me put this to zero and then start sliding it and you should be able to see that nice varying effect of the overall uh, paint and then again you get the color revealing back to its original position so it's like offsetting the range of colors white gradually turns to black and black gradually turns to white and it goes in a loop as you keep moving it okay um i'll just try with cells maybe let's try a cell texture and uh, we will add one more filter on top of it and i'm going to use the blur slope Okay, and then you can try playing with the intensity and then the cells texture can be played with and then you should be able to see that nice wear and tear texture and right now I'm and the histogram shift is doing no great thing but just let me see how this overall pattern keeps on changing and then it goes back to original uh, starting phase but you can just like maybe randomize things or uh, chip off a certain range of colors it can be very useful in some uh, one-sided range colors okay I should be able to see there is a huge change in this it's it's like a, uh, because the, the image is not having the brights it's almost a dark sort of picture okay so keep exploring different types of textures here and see how this histogram shift is going to help you in wear and tear shifts okay again this can be like used for randomizing your placement all that stuff okay uh if you use a black and white solid picture maybe i need to select it first and then drop it here blur slope should be off and i should be able to see that okay it's like maybe inverting but half the way you want to stop certain things then maybe that can be a useful thing so uh, as I said explore uh, and see what all uh, crazy results you get there okay blur slope is adding that extra detail to it but yeah see that nice chipping off effect with the shift 